Canva just updated its animation features and now you can change the timing of your animation. And you can decide whether or not you want your animation to animate in or animate in, out, or just out. So let me show you all of that in this video. Hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, an educational video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach you how to film yourself so you can film once to teach many. If you want to leverage your expertise to make money, then make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have new videos every Wednesday. Okay, so we're going to start with just a new design. I'm just going to start with a video design. The reason I want to start with a video and not a presentation is when I start with a video design, I'm going to have this kind of timeline down here at the bottom. And what that's going to allow me is to do, add transitions between they could be slides or just between video clips. So you can see here with this plus sign, if I go plus, um, I have anim add transition and I can add a transition. So now when it's gonna show the two slides, it's going to have a transition between them. So if I were to go in and make a presentation instead, I can add pages, I can move up, move the slides up and down, I can delete them, but I can't, animate between them. So if I pull this up, then my notes up, it allows me to add pages between them, but it won't animate them. So that is why I want to start this as a video so that I have that option to add transitions between the slides if I want to. So let's add a couple elements in here. So what I can do is I can add some templates in here. So I can add some of the pre-existing ones that they have here. So let's say we add this one for this, this last clip. I can change this font to reflect my, my branding a little bit better. I can change the colors. Let's do, I can stick with white. Perfect, okay, so here's this one. And let's say I want this text to animate in. I see the animate button up here. If I press animate and I select one of these, you'll see on the top corner it says page animation. That means it's gonna animate the entire page. But say I just want this text to type in. So I click on the text and then I can do typewriter. And now I have the option to animate it at both. So you can see this will animate it at the beginning and the end. On enter, so when the slide starts. On exit, so it can exit out. And then this tab down here, it allows me to change the speed of that animation. So I can slow it down or speed it up, depending on what, how I want it to appear. There we go. And then so for typewriter, you can get it to type the character or the word. So it has some extra options that you can use. It has the text animated in a certain way. I'm gonna change it, let's do a pan. And here you can see you can change the direction of the pan. You can change the speed. You can have it and come in and out, same kind of thing. Or if you want to, you can remove the animation. Yeah, let's do this one. So I can have this word. There we go, or by the line, the line can come up all together. I can change the direction of this, look at this. I can have it come up, I like up, there. And then I can change the speed, let's, let's slow it down. Ooh, I like that, perfect. So I have my last slide created, I have the animation done for that. Uh, let's mm, add some elements to this slide. So I'm just going to add some elements, let's add, a circle, maybe a subscribe button. Let's see, maybe a sticker. So what stickers are elements that already move? So if you add them to an animation, it looks cool because they're going to have action for the entire duration. Let's see if there's a subscribe sticker. Oh, there's one. Let's use that. You can see that it just keeps moving, 
which allows it's going to show movement throughout the entire thing which just makes it seem more like a video um and let's see thank you mm, i don't like that one let's try some other stickers perfect and let's add some text There we go. I'm just going to change the color of this top one so that you can see it a little bit more. There, that's cute. Okay, so now let's animate these elements. So I can press on any of the elements that I want animated and you can see it says element animation. So I could, ah, that one's cute. I can change again. So am I going to have this come at the beginning, at the entrance, at the or at the exit? You'll see here this one doesn't have a slide duration, so I'm not able to change it. It depends on the animation. So you can see here for the scale one, I can. So let's collect this one and let's try scale on that. And let's slow it down. Or maybe speed it up. And we want it just at the beginning. Okay. So now I can change the duration of this entire slide by either just sliding it. You can see here as I slide the edges, it's going to have a timer on there and it's going to change that duration. Or I can click on that frame and then up here on the top, I can change the timing of that individual frame. And now I can add a transition between the two of them. So pressing the transition one down here. Which one do I want? I like the slide. With the slide, this is cool. You can change the duration. So it could be a fast slide, a slow slide, and then you can change the way it's going to slide. Um, I don't know, let's do this one. And let's make it, that's too quick. Let's make it a nice slide. Let's see how that looks. There we go. Okay, so this final page, we're gonna add some more elements to it. Let's see, let's add a little video to this one as well. Coffee? Here's one, this goes with that. I can stretch that to fill the screen. Okay, there we go. So we have our video. What I can do is I can shorten that video as well. So you can do that by clicking on the sides and it allows you to shorten the video. If you double click, so you can see here, Shorten this one too. Okay, now let's animate these and let's change that duration. So I'm gonna click on outside of the field first, see the animate button. Now I'm gonna click on the text that I want animated and oh, that one looks cool. So I can change the speed. The speed you see has a crown beside it. That means you'll only get, get this feature if you have Canva Pro. If you don't have Canva Pro yet and you want to try Canva Pro, check out my link in the description. It gives you one free month of Canva Pro. What I did is I signed up for Canva Pro and then I added it to my calendar right before the 30 days was up. And I wanted to see, am I going to use it during that 30 days? Am I, is it going to be okay if I get rid of it or is it going to be worth it? And by that 30 days, I was using it so often that it was completely worth it. So I I bought Canva and I've not looked back. If you're not sure, you just wanna try it, then check out that link because this tool is so amazing and it keeps updating. There's always something new to try in it and animating both in and out is something that I requested at so many events and I'm so happy that it's finally here, it's happening because I know this is something that a lot of people probably also wanted and now you can change the duration of it. So thank you Canva. Let's animate this bottom one too. So click outside of it 
animate. Let's select this bottom text. We can have that typewriter on. Perfect. Let's speed up the speed, slow down the speed, and just on entrance. Now when you want to preview our video, all you have to do is click up here to that play button and it's going to allow you to see your entire video from start to finish. And then when you're ready, you can just download it, MP4. You can also decide which slides you want to download so you can kind of cut things out as you're downloading that way. When you're done, press done and download. Did you know that you could also edit photos within Canva? Yes, I have an amazing video that shows you exactly how to edit photos within Canva. Be sure to check that out. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace.